and welcome to the commentary box. You join me, Charlie Hutton, here in the comms box here in Manando do Corvo. A very good afternoon to you. As we see the two officials, they make their way out to the middle. Buck Stoneman and Gertus Tays. And once again, we've got two, what I'm calling, excellent cricket matches here this evening. Starts right on the money. And res respectfully played back to the bowler, met with the full face of the bat. Oh, he's gone. And that's an excellent reaction catch. It was straight to him, but he had to do the hard work. And Asim Savard gets reward for his tight, up, tight early bowling. And Kuldeep Galea goes without troubling the scorers. And the first wicket goes. And Marlow are none for one. Fighting at the opportunity to come in. And Angus Kumar comes down the track. And what a way to get off the mark. And what a way to get the first runs off the bat here in this innings. And Rao Imran goes big. This is a big opportunity. And it's dropped. Mohamed Adnan puts it down. And what a big drop that could be in the context of this game. If there's ever a man that you don't want to drop early on in an innings. He's short and straight over the man. Well, this is a bit of a full toss and I think this is going to go all the way and it will. Rao Imran opens up his account. Uh, I think there was a bit of bat on this one. This is going to scoop over the keeper's head and it's going to go all the way. There certainly was a bit of bat on this one. So another boundary here for Rao Imran. 10 off 5. There goes for the scoop. Has he executed this? He has, but it's been dropped. And Marlo letting things slip here and it's another drop that goes down and this one was even simpler. Well, this one stays low and... When it's not going your way, it just doesn't work. When it rains, it pours for Shazad. And this one, there's not much you can do. It's a good delivery. Stays low. Just bounces in front of Popat, the keeper. And it's going to go against his name. It's going to be four buys. Uh, it's been put down. It'll be interesting to take another look at the replay here as to whether or not that was off. But Masam into the attack. Slow this one right down. It's off the glove, so that really is another opportunity that's gone down. Well, this one is as wide as it gets, and it sails all the way, and it goes for five wides. And this is slashed and slashed hard, and not the way to end the over that my son would have wanted, but it's a positive end to the fifth and at the halfway stage. With that six, the gamblers at SC are 51 for one. Well, this has gone high and this has gone big as Rao Imran gets this all the way. And this is Seis Corredas. Well, that one, that one is hard, hit hard and that's flat. But even though it's flat, it's gone all the way and Shub's on the run. And it's another six runs here. It's Seis Corredas. And it's a maximum here for the gamblers. Well, this is full again. And this is carved away. And I think this might have gone all the way, and it has. So it's back-to-back -back for the GSC. And the train, Rao Imran. Well, a bit of spin into the attack. And he gets treatment early on. And Kumar doesn't want to miss out on the action. And he gets involved, and this is another six runs. Comes down the track, and getting an outside edge. And no one's going to be able to stop that. So it's another boundary. And this is again into the leg side. He's not quite got all of this. There's a man under it. And he takes it. That's an outstanding catch. It had snow on it when it was on its way down. But it's a good catch out in the deep by Saeed Masam. And Rao Imran has to go. He goes for 30 off of 19 deliveries. And the second wicket falls. So Parveen Singh. And starts off with a big shot into the leg side. He's not quite got all of this though. And Mohamed Annan doesn't even need to move a muscle. And Parveen Singh goes for a golden duck. Uh, it's not the best of hat-trick deliveries, really. But he'll get away with a dot ball. And that will see us through to the end of the seventh. And Gamblers are 81 for three. The total. Kumar's still on strike. And he slashes away. 
And he's very keen to go for anything into the offside. And he gets enough on this one. Makes use of the square boundaries. And this sails over. And it's another six runs. And Kumar moves into the 40s. This is just clipped. And I think he's got all of this. He hasn't. There's a man under it. And he has to go. That's a good catch by the man in the deep. Just right into the sun. Making the most of those shades. Good catch from Adnan Gondal. Oh, Christian yeah. starts and starts well. Starts with a bang. That's a beautiful cover drive. And that's one way to settle the nerves. And it's only an inside edge onto the map. And it will just be one roll back. Chris is going to turn and go. And they're going to hold on and it will just be one run. So one run to end the 10. Good bit of bowling from Gondal. We struggled early on, but a good comeback. He finishes with figures of none for 10 off of his two overs. And the gamblers... At the end of their 10 are 105 for Fort, setting 106 for victory for Marlow. Good afternoon, good evening, and welcome back to El Estadio Municipal de Marrano do Corvo. You join me, Charlie Hunt, here on the European Cricket Network here in Coimbra for the second innings of match number 21. And they come through and it's off the toe of the bat, off sharp. But it's a good call and a good bit of early running. And they come through for a single. Well, and it's been struck back over. His head, not the start that he would have wanted, but Adnan opens his account open with a glorious six down the ground. Says Corredas. Well, he's gone up. There is a man under it, but I think it's going to evade Sayadul Rahman. And this time, that's going to certainly release a bit of pressure, calm some nerves, and Shark gets his first boundary. Four runs down the ground. Back on the air. Part of being seen continues, and this is an inside edge. It's a French cut, and it's going to run away. You take them however they come, and it's another boundary, and it's Cuatro Carreras. Adnan moves into double figures. Winning the game. This has gone up, and well, this is going to fly. Might go all the way. It doesn't. It's one bounce, and it's another boundary. Not quite backing up his first over. He's been a bit unlucky. And well, this time, the luck runs out for Zafika Shah. The left-handed opener has to go. Plays all around this one, and he's cleaned up by Padavin Singh, and he gets another wicket. That's his 10th in this tournament. And the first wicket falls, and the Malakalanas are 22 for one. Well, that's his first boundary, and that has been hit a long, long way. And Itin Camboge get a bit of treatment once again. And this time, it's a Maximo here in Portugal. This is a full toss, and hit, and hit hard. And it's flat, and it's gone all the way. And this goes... For a, another maximum, says Corredas. Well, this has gone big into the onside. And, well, you don't want to bowl there to a man like Najam Shazad. And this goes all the way. And it's says Corredas. And this time it's too full. It's in the, in the slot again. And Najam Shazad gets another boundary. And this is another six. That's his third. And it's another Maximo here in Portugal. It's full again. He's gone for it again. It's an opportunity. And I think it's been taken and it has. That's great work. I think that's Amandeep Kokar at point. And the skipper, Najam Shazad, was looking dangerous. But he has to go for 21 off of nine. And the second wicket falls. And that's a big change in this game. As Marla Kalanders, they fall to 54 for two. That's a big wicket. And you can see how much that means to him. And it's another wicket for Angus Kumar. And Mohamed Adnan goes. And Gamblers SC get the main man that they wanted. And a third wicket falls. And the Marlow making things difficult for themselves. Now falling to a 56 for three here in the sixth. Fuller it doesn't get all of this. And it's Kumar underneath it. And it's put down. And he's furious with himself. Oh, Krishna was coming in and you just wonder with the angle that he was coming in from that it would have been easier for him to put a name on, under it. Well, it doesn't cost them much and it's another wicket 
And Kumar gets his second. And Rana Sawad has to go. Two wickets in this over going. Marlow, bit of a collapse here. 58 for four. This is hidden outside the off stump, but doesn't quite execute it. And this is slashed and slashed hard, flat. And it's all gone all the way, and it's six runs, and it's six well-needed runs for Marlow. Any apologies for not knowing what that was, but this is hit up in the air. Skipper's underneath it, and it's been dropped. It's another drop. The skipper has, it has to be said, he's dropped a few this tournament. It's been put down. Well, this has gone up again. It's another opportunity, and it's another drop. Amandeep Gokard this time puts this down. And Gambler's SC just keeping Marlow in this hit. Well, this time it's hit well, and this will go for a boundary. And he's right on the money again. Great Yorker delivery from Jay Prakash, and he gets his second wicket. And I, I made it clam who was seeing it better. Well, this is an outside edge, and that's going to help the cause. That's going to run away. And that's going to be a welcome boundary so they keep stay alive in this game. Well, that's one of them. That's a six into the leg side. And it's now... Well, in fact, it's going to be five for a golden ball. So a six here. And Marlow will take a victory. 